All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the shield. I'm here to talk about. I'm gonna do try to do an NFL news, NBA, and wrestling kind of mixed here in the same video. So let's just get right into it. So uh, we had some breaking news about two hours ago around the NFL. A trade. Uh, the Chiefs uh, fi are finalizing a deal to send franchise quarterback Legarius Snead to the Titans, per league sources. The Chiefs are expected to receive a 2025 third round pick in addition to a 2024 seventh pick swap. While Snead is We'll sign a new contract. Trade is pending a physical for Legarius Sneed. I, I'm kind of just confused by this. The Chiefs really got fleeced in this trade, and they got really nothing in return besides a third-round pick. And, I mean, trading good players for cap space isn't something to celebrate, because he was their top corner. Uh, tummy, tummy! I know they had McDuffie, but... This really isn't a win. Like, an elite player, the Titans have to pay him. What leverage do the Chiefs have? Like, I mean, I know, but they weren't going to pay. They, I mean, I guess they weren't going to pay him a 20 plus million per year contract. And the Titans and franchise quarterback, LaJerry Sneed, have the framework of an agreement that they have been working on for days, per sources. It will be formalized after Snead passes a physical, and it will make him one of the highest-paid cornerbacks in NFL history. Only a third-round pick is crazy. Colts fans are definitely pissed about this deal. But it's just crazy, like, that this actually did go down. And the Titans, they already signed Chidobia Wozie during free agency. Now they're on the verge of trading for LeJerry Sneed. Tennessee will be prepared to face division rivals C.J. Stroud, Trevor Lawrence, and Anthony Richardson with two good cornerbacks they've signed here in free agency. I mean, Wozie is a solid corner. I mean, he's pretty good, especially as a cornerback, too. I think he's nice. Like, as a cornerback, too, to um, LeJerry Sneed. And if Levis works out, the Titans have a very good team, and they've had a sneaky good offseason, and the draft hasn't even happened yet where they can get some offensive line help. And they've continued to have some additions. Calvin Ridley, Lloyd Cushenberry, Tony Paul, are trained for Legere Sneed. Some pretty good additions by the Titans. And Will Levis at quarterback, if he works out, they're going to have they've had, they, that'd be a great offseason. And Jerry Snead and Brian Burns are the two franchise players that have been or, or have been or are set to be traded this offseason. T. Hogan, T. Higgins might be a, will probably be a, the next one, possibly. But he could just stay there where he's at. But once the trade uh, is executed, Jerry Snead's departure to Tennessee would free up 19.8 million against the Chiefs' salary cap. So he keeps spelling his name wrong. Adam Schefter does, which is crazy. But arguably the best cornerback in the league, and he can trade for a third rounder next year is outrageous. But 27 year old, years old with a questionable knee, knee injuries and 20 million will do that, but I would still pay him. But Chase fans won't forget that play that helped them beat the Ravens in the AFC Championship game to advance to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that was really the big topic around the NFL here tonight was uh, the trade for the Titans uh, getting LeJarrius Sneed. That was really the big uh, talking point. Around uh, the lake, the lake tonight on uh, Twitter. So, uh, after visiting Buffalo, Chargers free agent defensive end Austin Johnson is visiting with Arizona Cardinals today. Uh, feels like nobody was playing for freaking Buffalo right now. But yeah, that visit happened. I don't know if they signed, but the Panthers reached an agreement on a one-year deal with former Bengals and Rams safety Nick Scott, uh, per source. I mean, it's an interesting move because he brings experience. He's going to Carolina to reunite him, reunite him with defense coordinator Ajiro Evero, along with Jonathan Cooley, and defensive backs Jordan Hill and Troy Fuller. So, it's a really, I guess, move just for experience. Uh, the Giants yesterday reached an agreement to bring back their wide receiver Isaiah Hodgins. It's been kind of underrated for him. Uh, the Texans plan to sign cornerback C.J. Henderson, former uh, top 10 pick, leaves Carolina after nearly three seasons. I mean, he was he was okay. I mean, he could be a starter. I mean, I just feel like he'll be a depth. Maybe a depth signing, but watch him play his best ball in Houston. Uh, the NFL is leaving the, quote, 
Tush Push as a legal play for the 2024 season. NFL executive Troy Vincent said today that this will not, or yesterday, that this will not be any proposal presented this offseason to ban it for next season. Quote, the Eagles, Vincent said on a conference call, do it well. I mean, the Eagles do it well. Just other teams should be able to do it well. I don't know how nobody can do a Tush Push well. The Eagles just do it well because they're strong, but we'll see how good they can do it now without Travis Kelsey uh, up front there. Just got to bring in some strong players that can do it. So a third man, remember the Chiefs uh, Super Bowl parade shooting? Well, a third man that was charged with uh, murder in connection with the shooting that killed a woman injured nearly two dozen others at the Chiefs Super Bowl parade. So a 20-year-old. So that was, I guess that was the third man was a 20-year-old uh, male. So, uh, the Lions, uh, they released cornerback Cam Sutton. Have you seen, uh, do you know this man? So, the police uh, in Florida were searching for Detroit Lions corner uh, St. Cam Sutton for about two weeks after an arrest warrant was issued over his alleged involvement in a domestic violence case. I would look for Justin Jefferson, because Sutton is uh, sure about to be uh, 10 yards behind the receiver. Do you know this man? Have you seen this man? Yeah, about 10 yards behind the cor the receiver. And the Lions then re ended up releasing him yesterday. Wonder if he even knows yet. That should, this would actually be funny if he didn't. <laughs> she doesn't know. So yeah, that basically explains why they released him. He's going to join the prison team. Uh, Paris Campbell uh, reached an agreement on the one-year deal with a one-year deal on a one-year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles. So he went to the uh, Eagles. Uh, Deonta Foreman saddled with the Cleveland Browns. See, so, yeah, it's really, uh, or, uh, Mike, uh, Williams signed a one-year deal with the Jets, which I think's a good deal. I had another weapon, a rece receiver for Aaron Rodgers. And Andy Reid will throw out first pitch for the Kansas City Royals on opening day. So we'll see how uh, good he does at that first pitch. And the Rams officially signed Jimmy Garoppolo to a one-year deal. It's really all the NFL to get into here. Honestly, it's really it. And the 49ers signed Josh Dobbs in a one-year deal, I guess, to be their backup. So, yeah. And the Saints signed uh, Chase Young to a one-year deal. One-year, $13 million deal. So, low risk, uh, high reward. So, that's all the NFL really here to talk about. Honestly, all the NFL news. So, let's get to some wrestling news uh, here. Uh, next week on SmackDown, Bianca Belair will be facing off against Dakota Kai in a singles match, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, Jay Cargill will make her first official appearance as, as a SmackDown Superstar next Friday, so she's officially signed with the SmackDown brand. So, Roman Reigns was on the Pat McAfee show today. He said some quotes here. Uh, that I want to talk about. Oh, what the fuck is happening? He took basically took aim at CM Punk as a, you know he's a heel character. But C Punk's got feuds on feuds on feuds lined up when he returns. So maybe uh, we could get Roman Reigns and uh, CM Punk in the future. And he said this on what basically on why people don't like him. The simple truth: people are stupid. Let them do what they want. It's fine. So it's worked out great. We're not complaining at all. The checks are crazy, and they keep coming in. So we'll keep doing what we do, and we don't care what they think because it's the truth. I put my family on my back, the company on my back, and why not share the spotlight? Why not make everybody better? And these four years are a testament to it. Pretty much a hill saying hill things, you know. He's a commodity for the WWE. I feel like people don't like him because he rarely appears, and not because of his gimmick in ring. I mean. I mean, he just plays the character well. I mean, it's what heels do. And he said, if that small minority of our WB fan base weren't a bunch of bitches crying the whole time, he, Cody Rhodes, would have never got that buzz, and y'all would have smitten the rock versus the tribal chief. 600,000 dislikes, Roman. Definitely not a small mi minority. Uh, at least, tell me! And, he, and, West, and when he was asked about his pro wrestling future, he stated that he's just scratching the surface, still experimenting, figuring out, figuring stuff out. Has so much more to do and so much history left to make and doesn't see it ever ending. With him being a part-time talent, of course there's still so much more to do. His storylines, because he's holding the title and still the top storylines in the company, when he drops the title, it's on defeating with The Rock and there's definitely still history he made, which will probably happen. Well, so we'll see what 
He does win, he loses the title at WrestleMania. And he bas and he said this, I'm not the, I'm the only guy that didn't have to go to Hollywood. Hollywood came to me. That's that's tough. But yeah, those are some of the quotes from uh the Pat McAfee show Roman Reigns is on. Really good uh thing there with Roman, uh, Roman Reigns on the Pat McAfee show. So the Slammy Awards, yes, WWE officially announced that the Slammy Awards will be returning and taking place at WWE World streaming live across social media platforms on April 7th. Voting begins soon. So the Slammies are back. Yes, the Slammies. That's a W for the, from the new regime. Missed the Slammies. And so some of the nominees, uh, Female Superstar of the Year, Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, EO Sky, Bailey, Becky Lynch, Male Superstar of the Year, Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Gunther, and Logan Paul. Best entrance, Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, Bianca Belair, Seth Rollins, Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch, The Rock, and Dominic Mysterio. Return of the Year, CM Punk, The Rock, Nia Jax. Pfft. Randy Orton, Naomi, Faction of the Year. The Judgment Day, Alpha Academy, Imperium, The Bloodline, Damage Control, Rivalry of the Year. Seth Rollins vs. Drew McIntyre, Dominic Mysterio vs. Rey Mysterio, Bianca Belair vs. Damage Control, Roman Reigns vs. Cody Rhodes, and R-Truth vs. The Judgment Day. OMG Mo of the Year was when Dom, uh, do I want to go through all this? Breakout Superstar of the Year, Jey Uso, Tiffany Stratton, Pretty Deadly, Dragon Lee, L.A. Knight, Social Star of the Year, Race of Water, Logan Paul, Drew McIntyre, Chelsea Green, Liv Morgan. Match of the Year, D Bad Money vs. Damian Priest, it's at the Street Fight Backlash, Roman Reigns vs. Sami Zayn, Elimination Chamber, Gunther vs. Chad Gable and Raw on uh, 9 4 23 Oscar vs. Bianca Belair vs. Charlotte Flair, SummerSlam 2023, and Charlotte Flair vs. Rhea, Rhea Ripley, WrestleMania 39. NXT Superstar of the Year, Braun Breaker, Timmy Stratton, Live Valkyrie, Carmelo Hayes, and Aja Dragunov. OMG Mo of the Year, EF Sky, Cash and Money in the Bank Contract, The Rock slapping Cody, Cody Rhodes slapping The Rock, Damage Control turn on Bailey, and Rey Mysterio punching Don Mysterio, and CM Punk return to the WWE. So yeah, those are the nominees for some of these. So I mean, there is some snows for the nominees. Social Star of the Year has to go to Drew McIntyre. He's been... Great on Twitter. Great follow. I uh, I followed Drew McIntyre. Great follow on Twitter. Per Wrestling Observer News later, WWE Talent has, was told that because the company was publicly traded, the wishes of TKO management was to be TVPG. The feeling was that if Rock's on the board, if anything, he should be the one following the rules to set the example. I mean, forget this P TVPG crap. We don't want PG. We want cussing. We want the cussing. Who cares the kids don't like up? People hear cussing all the time. Get over it. Uh, the belief right now is that Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Undertaker, and John Cena will be something. Will have something at WrestleMania in some form. A lot depends on how much they're willing to do with money. I mean, imagine Stone Cold coming out to interfere with The Rock and the Bloodline, cost the his, hits a stunner to The Rock, cost Roman the match. Oh, that would be phenomenal. Uh, Ronda Rousey felt that WWE was a mis misogynistic culture. And by the time she left, despite Vincent Man, but remained friendly with Stephanie and had positive things to say about Triple H was. Was also know that she, while she despised Vince, she since she to this day loves Dana White. I mean, she's just picking people to hate. Her poem was Vince. So yeah, and she doesn't intend to come back to, to the company and call it a shit show, basically, because of Vince. But I got nothing against her on about anything. Even know she was gone. She had a good promo. I really don't care. Uh, but yeah, let's get a little NBA. Uh, the Warriors lose to the Pacers. Uh, Warrior, my Warriors just got completely out physical in that second half. The lineups, it's not that great. But yeah. But the Warriors, uh, played Dre first half. Clayton Curry shot well, but the second half felt nothing went, went right for the Warriors. They just said this year we're a Tennessee for a reason. Those that's my quick thoughts on that. Uh, some NBA stuff. Georgia Sniang assures the Cavs won't get punked in the playoffs. Someone is going to get put on their ass. Yeah. Who the fuck cares what Georgia Sniang has to say? Uh, the Brooklyn Nets believe that stars would want to come to play for them in New York. The, the feel they can recruit players that 100% is their belief. They believe that guys will want to play in New York. Between talking with agents and players, they feel they have the feeling they can track players. After the way they did Kyrie and KD, be for real. That ain't happening. Paul Pierce says James Harden is a bigger superstar than Kawhi Leonard. Pendejo face. If we're talking about weight, maybe. 
Spencer Dewey has new role. I've, I feel I feel so, so I feel so sometimes I'm like a Reggie Bullcrow getting great on Spencer Spencer um Spencer scale sometimes. Man, shut up. Kendrick Perkins says he's taking Jalen Brunson over Steph Curry and Shea Gilgis Alexander. I like Brunson, but Curry's more experienced and SGA's better. Come on, man. Pendeo face. Uh, but yeah, it's really hard to say here. And Gribble really says the Patriot or the Saps can be irrelevant for the last 30 years. Like, he spawned Boston's fans have seen one championship in their lifetime. That's all to say here. Something next time out. Peace.